this life of mine isn't humorous at all. Thank you. Um, let's, let's, let's give it up for uh, Gunnar Johnson to redeem the senior class of 2013. Please give it up for Sam Stroud for that very motivational and positive speech. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am the Gunnar Johnson. I come from Rangy Lakes Regional School. Now, a lot of people complain about how it's such a small school all the time. I, I don't find it that bad at all. I, you get a one-on-one -on -one experience with teachers, you get to have an intimate relationship. But every time, there will always be one thing that's wrong with every school. That's the public bathrooms. <laughs> Now, when writing jokes about public bathrooms, I had one thing in mind. I wanted them to flow like how I urinate. Oh, I messed that joke up bad. I wanted it to be like how I urinate, to flow and hope I don't miss. Irony. Uh, the biggest problem I have the ba with the bathrooms is the toilet paper. I mean, I knew it came from trees, but I had no idea I'd be ripping off a fresh shard of bark from a great redwood that came from California. I know, one swift wipe and I'll be walking around with vicious pinecone debris, impaling my mud flaps for the rest of the day. The worst part about that is the walk of shame afterwards, you have to come out of the bathroom. I mean, who isn't going to notice a cowboy coming out of the bathroom afterwards? <laughs> Gunner, did you just come from the bathroom? No! My back's stiff! <laughs> I never understood why they call it restrooms until recently either. I mean, once you get older and you're done taking a BM, you just feel so exhausted afterwards. I mean, you feel like a wounded bear going into hibernation for the winter. You just slowly get off the edge of the toilet, going to all fours, limping, slowly crawling away, laying on your side, eventually getting into the fetal position as your head slowly hits the ground. <laughs> no. And teachers always wonder why I'm 20 minutes late to class. I'm taking a nap! The other awkward aspect about bathrooms is the occasional conversations you run into. Yes. In my opinion, conversations should only be used for motivational purposes when you're in the bathroom. You'll be sitting quietly in a stall, all happy, all tranquil, and all of a sudden an amateur tennis player will join you in the next stall across, practicing their grunt for the next game of Wimbledon that's coming up, slowly starting out as quietly as they can. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> You're so startled by this, you need to peek your head underneath the stall to make sure they're still conscious. <laughs> hey, hey Serena Williams, how you doing in there? <laughs> and as you peek your head underneath, their legs are twitching more than a third grader on pixie sticks. <laughs> it's like they're trying to river dance while sitting down. <laughs> Their heads bashing off the wall. <laughs> then after all those series events are over, there's only one thing that's going through my mind. Is I have to get the hell out of here. I mean, I just either witnessed a murder or Britney Spears is trying to record a new album in there. <laughs> oh, that's a joke that took it too far, sorry. Now before I leave the stage, I want to give you guys a one piece of advice. Whenever you enter the restroom, be prepared for doom. Thank you.